Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. U.S. borescope manufacturer Gradient Lens Corporation's new Hawkeye V2 flexible video borescopes are in demand in South Africa's technical industries, where they support efficient, documented, non-destructive testing and inspection. Skulkberger has a story. Hawkeye rigid and flexible borescopes are widely used in South Africa for many small and large engineering applications, including for quality assurance inspection, gunsmithing and maintenance inspection, and by arms manufacturers and petrochemicals industries, among others. The firm's new flexible V2 videoscopes, which are available in 4mm and 6mm diameter sizes and up to 6 meters in length, are growing in demand in the local market. The flexible videoscopes are used in the aerospace, energy, wind generation, manufacturing, automotive and technical maintenance fields. Local reseller, GP agency sale manager Leslie Scott, explains some of the industries where the borescopes are used and highlights new demand and new industries that are using borescopes. The borescopes, their applications are very wide and varied, from inspection of bores of rifles, which is the rigid borescopes, um, to looking inside of castings. In aviation, they're used to check engine manifolds, to check behind the blades, to look in engines. They're used in shipping, um, to check inside of holes of ships, for example. Companies often use them if they need to check components and they don't want downtime on their production lines. It allows them to check components for wear without actually having to bring the whole production line to a stop. And then obviously a lot of companies use them for inspection and quality control of the products that they're manufacturing to make sure that whatever internal items they are maintain and meet the specified regulations and standards. The arms and armament manufacturing industry, they use rigid scopes quite regularly to inspect their barrels to make sure that their bores are correct and that there are no imperfections in the barrel. Um, they also get used quite a lot in the mining sector, um, even in the water sector, and um, quite a lot in various engineering um, facilities, as well as in castings and you know, manufacture of castings. If there's a bend, a curve, a kink, if there's an area that you need to get into that's a little bit difficult to access, then the flexible scopes are used for that. It can be used to inspect drums for wear and tear, for sealing, to make sure that everything, it's more the, the containment of the chemicals than the actual chemicals themselves. Um, but they also can be used in, you know, for inspecting gearboxes. Um, they are quite resilient when it comes to to immersion, they, some, most of them are water resistant to a point. Um, a lot of them can be immersed in oil, as long as it's clean and free of any additives. With the borescopes, the rigid borescopes start with a very small outer diameter of 1.85 millimeters um, and go right up to eight, sometimes 10 millimeters, depending on the area that needs to be viewed. And the flexible scopes also normally start at around four millimeters and go up to about eight millimeters, depending on that's outer diameter. Then obviously we have the length of the scopes. The rigid bore scopes start quite small at about four inches, and they go right up to 37 inches, depending on need. And the flexible scopes, we have two types. The one is the flexible scope that has fiber optic cables. That one has a maximum length of 0.85 meters. After that, there is some pixelation and gradient lens does not want any degradation in images, so 0.85 is their maximum. But their video scope, which is the V2, that one can get up to six meters in length, which also generally covers most requirements within an industrial and engineering environment from length. The borescope products, they don't have Wi-Fi connectivity, but most of them well, sorry, the flexible scopes anyway, if you connect them to a camera, they can then be connected to your PC, to your laptop, or to a screen where either still images or video images can be captured for documentation purposes. And I'm quite excited about the growth of the product in general over the next few years. Um, you know, we get inquiries from a wide range of people, from the private sector, where people maybe um, own a firearm or have a piece of equipment on their farm that they want to be able to inspect. 
um, right through to big corporates who are looking either to maintain a production line or to examine their own product that they're manufacturing. And as people become more knowledgeable about the different variety of bore scopes that are available in the market, they will be able to see the application use for their business. Um, it might not have been something that they thought they needed before, but when they realize well, this can save us downtime, it can save us from having to strip an item totally, um, we can have a quick look, you know, it saves money. And it's all about saving money. If you can save time and you can save money, then a product is worth having in your range of maintenance and inspection tools. From a corporate industrial side, the interest is growing. And then obviously with the flexible bore scopes, as the technology has improved, from a viewing quality perspective, um, and where customers are looking for great value, you know, they want something that's going to give them good quality, a clear image that is user friendly, and that is going to have a good life, you know, the products that we offer tick all of those boxes. So there's definitely a growth in interest in the flexible bore scopes. The Hawkeye bore scopes are well suited to the local market and in high demand in South Africa, owing to their competitive pricing compared to other bore scope manufacturers and their consistent image quality. Scott highlights that the company can make custom bore scopes for clients, but will do so only if the image quality is not affected and remains within industrial quality limits. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.